last left the party, uh, there was a battle with some skeletons outside of a mysterious, in, 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 in the cave, uh, surrounding a mysterious octopus statue that shot green force blasts at the party as they, as they moved around. Thongram, in his infinite wisdom, stumbled upon a way to defeat, or at least get around portions of the, the danger of the trap. Uh, through running around and being a damage sponge. Uh, the party has uh, currently uh, defeated the, skele the five skeletons uh, whose bodies litter the ground. Uh, you can see what looks to be a rusted iron gate uh, to the northeast and to the, to the south, and it appears Siona should be able to see a bit more than I have revealed. So let me go ahead and expand what she can see. Give me one second. Uh, she should be able to see about that far. Uh, she sees a, a bridge crossing a, a ravine that reveals, um, reveals a water, a rushing water below. Uh, so the party has just finished the encounter, and here you go. What would you like to do? What was the last right. thing that happened with the octopus statue? One second. I will look back and at my notes to see if I put where it was. If I'm not mistaken, uh, it, the, one of the last things that had happened is Thongram had grappled one of the skeletons and used it as a shield while running towards the statue, and it had blasted the uh, the skeleton for uh, a, media, a medium amount of, of damage. And I believe that the statue has been is glowing not a not a full. Um, not a full uh, green uh, brightness, but it's it's as brighter than it was. Um, well, I guess I'm going to want to get away from that thing. Maybe down here, perhaps. Okay. And where were you? I was right here. Okay. I want to say that I guess, I mean, we, we didn't move anybody after that. I wanted to say that as one of the last things we did is people were kind of moving away from the octopus statue, but I guess everybody's still right next to it, so maybe not. Yeah, yeah. I want to just basically dodge my way out of its range. Right, this, this was, yeah, everybody is where they were at the end of the battle, so nobody has moved since then. Yeah, I think the last thing was the last skeleton fell, right? Looks like there was that great axe attack. And then we No, the great axe is something else. That was that was me. Oh yeah, that's nine twenty four in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh Corin was moving. Yeah, I just I just I basically just want to get out of its range. I mean I don't want to do, unless we're up to get back in combat, just no, you're you're dodge no. out of its range. All right, we're, I still so, want to play move, move move my tile anywhere. So just I'm there now. Okay, well we're gonna say um, dodge gives you a advantage on a evade on dexterity. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So go ahead and roll me. Okay, so we're gonna say that you have a, a, the the octopus statue did. Uh, did shoot at you, but you uh, managed you managed to evade the shot uh, as it went through and blasted the uh, the wall on the far side. Did the gem change color? Yeah, the uh, the the gem did uh, dissipate a little bit. It's still glowing softly, but it is not as bright as it was. Um, I'm not sure who had the mirror. Otherwise, there was a mirror. No, somebody had a mirror. Somebody had a mirror at one point. 
Hang on. I'm trying to look at the, uh, the stash real quick. It's probably Chris. Or, um... Yeah, I don't, actually, I don't see a, I don't see a mirror at all. But it's got to be somewhere. I, I vaguely remember it. Maybe we came across it and didn't pick it up or something. Um, I thought it was, I thought there was one. Um, are the skeleton avatars representative of the characters? Do they all have swords and shields? Uh, they are just uh, skeletons in general. They did not. Um, I probably should have had you check for that, but they are just, they are not NPCs. They are just skeletons. Unarmed skeletons? Uh, no, they have short swords and, and short bows. I mean, they, they were they were able to attack. All right, I'm going to try to do this. I am anxiously awaiting to figure, see what Thongram does. I'm going to go this way. Go ahead and uh, roll me a dexterity save. As That's the, awesome. I didn't know if I could dodge out of the way. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say that you're. We'll say that you're dodging. But uh, go ahead. It, it did. It did shoot a blast at you, and it went dead. Is that the one? Yes. Yes, it is. And uh, we're gonna. Yeah, you you evaded and you dodged that one. And the gym is dark. Should we take that opportunity to move Chris over a bit? <laughs> Let, let's just say we all get out of its range. Yeah, we don't need to necessarily do all of our stuff on the map. Yeah, well, I, I've moved everybody out. Um, feel free see. to metagame however you wish on that one. No, that's fine. Um, so, can I see? Hold on. I want to go take a quick peek through that iron gate, see if I can see anything. I yeah, I'm doing something with that right now. Oh, that doesn't really do anything. I was going to see if I can see anything in the skeletons worth taking. They're skeletons. I don't know how they'd hide things from you. I mean, they're wearing tattered remnants of something, right? I Some mean, might have pockets. Yeah, I mean, they're they're just wearing, you know, tatter, tattered stuff. There's really nothing worth taking uh, in them. All right, so you can, uh, from where you guys are, you can see that through the iron gate, uh, it looks like there's uh, a passage that runs off to the northeast. Uh, there's a wall up against that area, um, and it bends to the right. Uh, so it looks like there's something past there based on where uh, Rez and Corin and Thongram are. I guess there's no way we can get through that gate. Like, is it locked? Is it a lock gate? Is it like a portcullis? What kind of? Um, it is an iron gate. There is. Uh, it, it does appear to have an opening, um, but it is presently shut. Even though it looks kind of like a series of pool floaties. Huh. All right. Well, what about south of us? Uh, to the south of you, you can see that there is a, a, a bridge, uh, a wooden bridge that uh, it appears to be crossing over a chasm. Um, it, is, it is dark uh, in here, so most people can see, you know, 60 feet dimly. That's roughly about where this is, maybe. Okay, so yeah, that goes a little bit further, so let me go ahead and expand that. I love the concept of fog of war, but it's. I think if you pay for dynamic lighting, it'd be better. Uh, yeah, it would. To... That would be awesome. 
So you can see that it crosses and you can see the other edge of the chasm. So what part of this is wall? What part of, is this a wall right here and then it's an opening here? Yes, uh, uh, this part right, um, hang on. I'm gonna draw a line on that, that is, that is an opening. Um, I was learning as we went. So that, oh, ignore that. The two red lines are openings. Those are not part of the wall, but everything else that you see there um, is part of the wall structure. But it is opened into the chasm, uh, but you can see across it, and the two red lines are, you know, just indicate open, open space. Okay. All right, then I'd want to kind of get up again and dancing lights across the chasm. Okay. Just have them kind of just as wide as wide a line as possible and just have them go to their full 120 foot until they hit a... Okay. Doing so reveals um, reveals another cavern, another room-like area that I am revealing to you right now. No revealing. Uh, give me a second. Oh, <laughs> oh just reveal. They just, the word reveal was said a lot. Uh, yeah, lots of reveal. Until I found out another word, and then I'll you overuse that one a lot. <laughs> All right. Do we, do we want to go check this room out, or do we want to go up through the, the gate? Well, Thongram looked like he was inspecting, I'm assuming he says the gates, but he says Twinkies. I'm not really sure where he's going with this. What, what, are, you, what are you doing over there, Thongram? Oh, is that a gate over there? Sorry, it looked like Twinkies. Okay, yeah. it is a gate. Um, so over there, yeah, he, he, he notices that there is indeed a gate uh, and that it, it appears to be locked. Is everything revealed like up to that gate? Is that the, that's the actual walls? Those are the actual walls, yes. Okay. So again, do we want to try and cross this bridge and check out whatever that little bookcase altar thing is, or do we want to brave the gate? It's a great question. Does anybody else care? So, uh, so right. Thongram, um, Thongram, get away from the lock. He, you're, gonna, you're gonna break it. <laughs> he has he has shoved a finger into the gate, a, a skeleton finger, uh, a good try on calling it a skeleton key, but you have managed to crush the bones as it as, as you've uh, shoved it into the lock. Uh, the the lock remains. Uh, with partial bone fragments inside of the lock mechanism. The gate remains locked. Bongram, get away from the roll, gate. Roll me a strength check. Not a strength save, strength check. Oh, that should count. I clicked the wrong one. Ah. why you don't click things so it tells you to roll. Boo. Don't you still have a... You, I think you still have a blessing. Or a, a, a something. In, something from the bard. I see the little heart. Yeah, but it's for saving. That's, that's for saving throws. Mm. Not ability checks. It's fine. I just... Uh, okay. Well, I, mean, I clicked strength. That... <laughs> We'll, we will say that you, with the kick, the lock mechanism has not completely shattered, but the gate did move. I'm just going to get back out of the way in this corner over here. If I'm going to bring down more skeletons, they're all yours.
All right. Roll that. <laughs> I like what you're going for. Roll it. Yeah, there you go. We'll call that the strength check with advantage on that one. Um, and the gate comes, <laughs> bursts open. It uh, doesn't fall off its hinges. It kind of swings back and hits the wall, opens to the left, uh, away from away from Thongram. And the, the gate just crashes open with a loud thunk. And uh, Thongram, go ahead and roll me a perception check. Let's see. I can't read this tiny screen. <laughs> I think we need to get a real computer. <laughs> uh, you uh, you don't necessarily hear anything, but Raz uh, happens to you know he catches ear. It sounds like there's a little bit of a um, a little bit of a moaning coming from inside the chamber. It's faint, but he can hear it. It sounds like it was in reaction to the, the gate slamming open. I got the gate open! It just needed a little bit of elbow grease. Be careful! I heard something over there. <laughs> I love your interpretation of Raz's character. <laughs> so the gate is open, and you can you can go up that way, or you can you can still go down to the south. Um, you know, you you might be careful there. Um, the Siota and Raz have also heard. In what sounds like a little bit of a creaking at their feet. Um, so, what you want to do? I'll go back down here by the bridge and just start, you know, checking to make sure it's not trapped or going to give way or is real, things like that. Uh, go ahead and roll me a perception check on that. All right, so you, you see that the bridge is rickety and that the boards are damp with moisture uh, from the uh, water below. Uh, several boards appear to be missing uh, sporadically across the bridge. Is there anything, like, is it just the bridge or is there anything like I could tie a rope to around here? There are, um, hang on, so... The slender rope bridge, uh, it's about five, five feet wide, spans approximately 20 feet, 25 feet across the, this chasm. Uh, it, the rope bridge has slatted wood steps about 20 feet below. Uh, there's a rushing underground river flowing into the darkness. It's flowing to the east. Um, and the rope bridge sways gently uh, with the updraft from the, the river. Uh, so you do see, uh, going through my notes real quick, uh, there are some posts uh, that it is tied to on, on both your side and the opposing side uh, of, the, of the chasm. Across in the other room, or do we see any like exits or doors or anything like that? Or is it just a, a walled-in pretty much... Uh, from, from what you can see, what you see, you don't you don't see any apparent exits. It looks like a closed room to you. Um, on the uh, on the far side of the room, you, you do see. Um, we're gonna we're gonna say you've got eagle eye vision at this point, um, but where the uh, desk like looking thing is. Um, there are five empty cutouts in the walls, uh, scattered uh, and scattered throughout the room. There are several objects of, of varying shapes, um, and you, you seem to see something uh, etched into the wall, but you you are too far away to uh, read what it says. Uh, 
Didn't Elden cast Detect Magic earlier? Is that still going on? It wouldn't be after a combat. Why did you lose concentration? I cast another thing that used concentration. Okay. That's right. Was it Bless? Yeah. Well, that place down there sounds dangerous, and there's sounds coming from above, so... I would have liked that gate to still be there so we can't get hit from behind, but I don't know. What have we been looking for down here again? Random artifact from something or other? Well, our, our map had the symbol altered to show that there's some sort of red flame connection down here or at this location. And then we've also got the blue-eyed Billy um, uh, treasure hunt. Um, that, uh, that has been going that, uh, has been going on for a long time. So, hey, Chris. Yeah. Welcome. Hey. All right. So everybody's here. Full party. Yay. Um, yeah, you were down here exploring the the legend of Blue Eyed Billy, uh, the map that was given to you by uh, Don Hall the Bard back in uh, back in Aldenburg. Um, you know, led you led you here because it uh, had you know, a symbol that Elden recalled from his readings uh, back at the back at the manor that uh, had looks like it has something to do with the red flames. Uh, when you got here, uh, that was confirmed by having the same symbol uh, over the threshold of the entryway uh, of the of the tavern on the bluffs. Uh, so at this point, it looks like there's credence to the legend uh, of where you are. Uh, uh, so what you were necessarily looking for, you don't really know, uh, but the, the treasure and the, the legend that you had heard through the songs of the bard, it, it let it, the, it seems like it was, uh, just a legendary pirate that had a, a treasure hoard that nobody has ever found. Uh, but it, you know, it, it was just that to the town. It's just a legend, but based on where you are, I, I would think the characters would begin to believe that there's something to it. Right, so I'm just kind of asking if anyone in the group kind of knows any idea what we're looking for. We're looking for like a book. We're looking. For, you think we're looking for something small, big? Like, would it be over on that desk, or would it? Or you think Moni McMoan up there is going to be holding on to it? Well, I might. If this is kind of a dead end room, and it may you know, kind of a destination location, which is why I was asking if I saw any exits. Where Fongrim seems to be going could be the gate was to keep people out of this area. Or, or, or the not. gate was, when you go down south, the gate opens and monsters come out to guard it. Which could be as well. So, so what's going on down south? Is that a gated bridge? No, the bridge is open, and we're examining the bridge to see if it, we feel it's sturdy enough to cross while looking in the room beyond the bridge to determine if it's a place of interest to go into while Thongrim is blasting away at a locked gate and has opened, a, opened the, lost, the, the, block, the locked gate up above to the north. And then you heard some moans coming from beyond it. I say, let's check out the moans. Ignore the dead end room. You know, it seems like the room's going to be there, but maybe something up northeast is more present. Well, from where I'm standing, by if, if I get up to near the edge of the the walkway, can I see anything left or right? Uh, you pretty much just see that you know that the water rushes off into the darkness. Uh, and in either way, uh, you can see that that you 
clearly see the, the outlines of the room uh, down on the other edge. Well, I'm curious about what's south. Well, those guys are curious about north, so what are we, what are we doing? <laughs> All right. Well, in response to the loud roar that, that the barbarian just gave, uh, you, you, you do hear some more moaning, uh, a little more, a little more uh, fervent, uh, but there seems to be, uh, you know, some slight chinking of what may be chains. You guys, you gotta hear this. This is the weirdest echo. Every time I yell down the hall, it goes. You guys, remind me to pick up the silence spell at some point so I can uh, keep Fong under control. Didn't one of us have that? I didn't, but I know I thought we used it previously. Silence probably would have been Quinn. Oh. No, yeah, actually, Quinn would have probably yeah. just shot him by now. <laughs> In response, you hear... All right, Songer, if, if anything comes down that hallway, it's all yours. This is the weirdest echo! Well, Corin, I think we're going to probably have no damage control over here. Oh no, I'm going I'm to watch. Y'all, y'all go have fun. Uh, okay, I'll stay with you. I'll stay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine where we are. Look, I'd rather cross this bridge before we even blasted the locked gate open. But hey, I'm I'm just saying we got an intelligence of twelve and a wisdom of eight, so I'm I'm well within my my uh, range here. Eight's right. not bad, though. Um, all right, so you have you have roared. You uh, you have not moved, so you have uh, not uh, either successfully or unsuccessfully intimidated the gate. Uh, you do continue a, a call and response mechanism with the the, the shouting and the, what sounds like a moaning. Um, so. What's your... God, does anybody else want to try screaming down this hallway and listening to the funny noises? Uh, I go, I go to no. the gate and I say, uh, uh, Marco! Uh, chink. Eldon, we're in the wrong group. I think so. So Raz can see a little bit more. Why did he just run down the others? He's scared just, of hallways. I just wanted to play a game. And it doesn't seem like he wants to play. So, I guess we'll see what's across this bridge. Bongram. <laughs> Close the gate and come back down here. All right, I'm gonna cast Mage Hand and pull up my grapple and rope. I'm gonna tie another rope between the pillars. All right, one second. Not sure how he's gonna close the gate. He knocked completely off its hinges, but uh, no, it was still hanging loosely from the hinges, so it's just kind of holding there, rickety right now. Actually, let's, you know, we don't need to check the safety of this bridge. Thongrim, go across the bridge. All right, so wait, 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 wait. We're, let's resume. <laughs> Pause. No, no, no. We're resolving one thing first. You used Mage Hand, so you cast that, and you did a rope from what to what. Uh, you said there were some wooden posts that are holding that bridge up. I just want to yeah. make make my own rope on the cross it just in case like the boards give way or something. A, <laughs> yeah, okay. you said there's a post at each end yes. that we're up to. Or if there's anything else within 30 feet that looks like it's more secure, I'd want to do that instead. 
But you just uh, said there was the bridge stuff. No, there is just the, the bridge stuff. There's nothing uh, within 30 feet outside of the, uh, the the cavern walls, but it doesn't look like you can attach anything. There are no crags or stalagmites or tights or, or anything. So you, so you now have a rope. Um, all right, let's draw it's that. It's 50 feet of rope, so I guess it's all the way across and all the way back. Yeah, sounds like that'd be a route, right? So we're going to say that it's from here, here to here and back again. Yeah, if it'll if it'll fit, uh, we'll 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 call it. We'll, we'll call it good. Well, yeah, it should should be there. All right, so you have a rope that's tied uh, around the far end post, back to this post on what would be your left, facing this chasm. Uh, you have Thongram looking like he's about to bull charge something, unless you guys do something about that. I step out of his way. <coughs> and Siona? I put my hand on Thongram's shoulder and say, what the hell are you doing? The little one over there said to run across the bridge. Don't listen to the little one over there. All right. What, that little guy? Uh, don't you worry about that little guy. Well, thanks. We needed someone to go across the bridge to see if it was safe. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll I feel try like he's it. a little heavy. I'll try it. It's, you know, you know, it's... I don't think I don't think I can jump twenty five feet, but I'll try to carefully make my way across using that rope as a safety. All right. So what? Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna go across, Corin. I want to give it a couple of pulls, make sure it's not gonna fall. You know, just instantly collapse. But yeah, then I wanna I wanna go across. Okay. All right. So go ahead and give me a strength check on that rope that you did. Yeah, the rope might pull me into the ground. I hope not, but let's see what happens. <laughs> <It can't work. laughs> uh, well, uh. you gave it a you gave it a nice strong tug and gave yourself a rope burn. <laughs> Pretty sure my mage hand is stronger than that. <laughs> well, it seems secure, so I'm going to make my way across. All right, so. Here's how. Here's how we're going to do this. On, um, I need you to. I'm, I'm going to move you onto the the first five feet of the bridge here. And I'm since you have an extra rope there, uh, give me either your choice a dexterity or an acrobatics check with advantage. All right. Well, you have uh, nothing has. Uh, Nothing appears to happen. It appears to be uh, uh, the first, you know, where you are is firm under your feet. Um, so, you want to keep on going? Yeah, I'm already a quarter of the way across. Keep going. All right. Let's do that again. Ooh, you're doing good. You know, it's wasting my rolls on a bridge. Try it again. Oh, there's a little bit of creaking, but that that seems to be fine. One more for for good measure. All right, you have successfully crossed the bridge. I'm an adventurer, guys! Yay! And how much do you weigh? Uh, hold on. Look at Eldon trying to do something that I hadn't accounted for. <laughs> 140 pounds plus another 91 of equipment. Wait, say that again? Uh, my character weighs 140 ish, but he's also carrying 91 pounds, so 230. Okay. Now that you're on uh, that side of the, the bridge and you're a little closer to the other side, you, you, Corin, you happen to notice uh, that the, the rope knots uh, on that side appear to be fraying uh, where they're tied against the posts. Um, 
you know, looks like dry rot almost or something along that lines. So it might have been a great idea for you to have that extra ropa uh, there. Oh, I'm sure Eldon weighs like 20 pounds. He'll make it. Eldon weighs 42 pounds and carries 20 pounds of, of, of gear. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want Thongram to like just throw you across? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> a dwarf gnome tossing? What? <laughs> I'm surprised we've made it this long without it becoming a thing. <laughs> 20 pounds of equipment, man. You need to actually get some stuff. <laughs> oh, all right. I think, I think it's, yeah, something like 15, 15 20 pounds is like it's lim the limit. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and we'll, we'll repeat the stuff here. Uh, go ahead and roll with uh, advantage. Uh, give me a dexterity and or acrobatics. Um, okay, so... Dexterity and acrobatics are the same roll. Okay, I just didn't know if you had bonuses on that. Oh, yeah. Ac where is acrobatics? Oh, I don't have. All right. Acrobatics is just dexterity plus proficiency if you want. All right. Well, luckily you had you, you had advantage, so carry on. Oops. Um. All right. Pro okay. Proceed. The dice are in y'all's favor. So far. Shouldn't I get like more than advantage? Uh oh, you kind of you kind of did until you stepped there. So uh, I can't click. Oh, hold on, hold on. No. I, uh, at that point, uh, the, uh, the, the 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 uh, the 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 board underneath your feet snapped, and you you falter. Uh, I need you to I need you to give me a dexterity save, please. Can I like try to help him grabbing him from where I'm at? Uh, yeah, we'll we'll say that you get advantage on this dexterity save. So the dexterity save is uh, just clicking dexterity. Uh, no, there should be a dexterity save uh, on your your sheet above your skills. So it'll say dexterity, but it's an above saving. Throw. Oh, save throws! Oh, I got it. Yeah. All right, and with the advantage, uh, you manage to. Uh, just grab onto the rope there uh, and <clears throat> and avoid falling into the water. Um, but you notice that the bridge has uh, seems to have weakened a little bit. Uh, but you you have successfully traversed the bridge. All right, guys. I don't think anyone else should come across this. It's about to give way. The lightest of us has now broken the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, 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 you need a diet, man. <laughs> I'll repeat what I said. Uh, the bridge is breaking, Thunger. You probably don't want to try to make it across. Eldon almost fell. So you're saying the guy with 50 pounds of shit in his backpack should not give it a, a chance? Or leave your backpacks behind. Well, I will say that the bridge is not completely broken. <clears throat> it just seems to have weakened a little bit. Yeah, the, the 50 pound guy almost broke the bridge, guys. Be careful if you cross. Or if you want, we can just check it out from here and report back. Yeah, I'm, I'm fumbling through the backpack to see if there's any like extra rope we could use or something to support it, but I'm not really seeing anything that would help us, guys. Do you have any rope at all? Well, now okay. that Eldon's heart is significantly pounding, does he notice? Does does he notice anything in the in this room that he's in now that he's closer? Uh, yes, yes, he does. Uh, let's give me just a second. While he's doing that, does anyone else have extra rope? The last rope we had isn't that tied up at the, in the in the water room in the previous. It is, isn't it? All of our rope, but mine is in that underwater passageway, isn't it? If I recall correctly, uh, yes, that is the case. 
Okay. So to answer your question, Eldon, um, on the on the wall uh, to the south, the southern wall, you do see etched in uh, calligraphic uh, letters. Uh, to go forward, two you must turn. To glow brightly, the flames must burn. All to fill, a stone to mill. Littered across the uh, the floor uh, of could this... Could you type that in chat, please? Ah, damn it. Yes, I could. Hold, please. <laughs> Come on, if we were playing for a wheel, you wouldn't have that advantage. Well, I would be able to see it on the wall. True. <laughs> so... It's not someone speaking to us, is it? No, it's etched into the wall. So are there any statues on here anywhere? Or figurines or anything? Knobs, levers, anything that looks like it would turn? Yeah, anything. Uh, um... Okay, so uh, when, when you looked across the bridge earlier, you did notice that there were, f uh, um, there were five cutouts uh, into the wall. Uh, ignore the, the desk there. I've changed how this room would work uh, since I built the map. So uh, that just signifies that this is what's happening on that side of the room. So there are five empty cutouts in the wall uh, scattered throughout the, f uh, throughout the room on the floor. There are many objects of varying shapes. Um, so I'm going to tell you what is on the ground. Okay. So you have a rusted iron key. An orc skull, a stone eye that glows at random intervals, a bronze plate, a shining green dragon scale, a, a leather sack of pink salt, a broken sword hilt, a wax sealed scroll case, and a large rather odd-looking blue egg. Okay. Yes, correct. And what kind of so we, we see these things on the floor, or I guess they see these things from the floor. Across the bridge, can I see anything in the far room that looks like a place to put these things? Are they, are they sort of random inlets in the wall? Are they kind of shaped? Uh, they, are, um, they, are, they are inlaid into the wall. I would say that they're... Um, hang on, let me drag my map down just a little bit. Uh, I'll draw what I, where I think they are. I will you know, draw them in I hope this is not a puzzle to unlock that gate that Bongram broke down. <laughs> that would be funny. So along the south wall, uh, from your vantage point, um, we will say, um, let, me, let me draw something else real quick. Okay, hey guys, I think there's a puzzle. Over so we might all want to be on this side of the bridge. How do we secure this bridge without any more rope? Well, I can take the rope down, and then we can... Whoever is coming across can tie the rope around them, so if they do fall, we can just pull them back up. How how far does the ravine go down? Forgot. I don't think we about have to... uh, no. Uh, you 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 did see it. It's it goes down about twenty feet. It's going to be enough to to hurt you. How deep's the water? Uh, well, it's a rushing river, so I'd say deep enough to have at least water rushing through it, so probably at least ten, five to ten feet, if not a little deeper. Okay. But so there could be fall, rocks. You could just be swimming somewhere else in the um, chocolate factory, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could be like Augustus Gloop and being rushed off to the edge because uh, it is rushing water, so I mean, it's, it's, it's not moving slowly. 
I mean, we can tie the rope around somebody, and you, they can make a running jump, and we can just pull them up. Thondon or Siona, do you have, like, an adventure's pack or explorer's pack, by chance? Or we could pull out another rope? I think we've used all, or even people who have, would have had it. Damn. Um, I used mine in that uh, and we're just tunnel. concerned because the one piece broke under the lightest guy, but it's possible, since two of us have crossed, that it's still somewhat... Oh, my biggest concern is Siona and her heavy armor. Hmm. But yeah, we can... So on the on the south wall here, I revealed uh, where I think that the, the five cutouts are. I've numbered them, uh, so you, just for reference purposes. Uh, looking from your, your perspective, from left to right, it would be one, two, three, four, and five. Um, they are, you know, they are, the cutouts are large enough to hold any of the items that you have seen uh, across the floor. Um, and they're all, you know, say arms reach. I mean, may, may be a little taller for Elden to actually reach reach them, but they are well within reach of, uh, of everybody on the party. Except Elden. Great. You'd have to stand on your tippy toes, maybe. Short stack here. And you've just earned your nickname. <laughs> this this may be too early to tell, but I don't know, there's no other clues in this room. I mean, I can't. It's hard to tell from across the bridge, but I don't know. We may have to venture further to get more clues about these items. Well, I've got an idea. I think for the first two and the fifth one. Well, what are you thinking? Well, the rusted iron key has to turn. And to uh, stretch, Orc Skull could be considered undead, and you got to turn that. That one's a little bit of a stretch. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. I was actually thinking maybe there's something alive in here that we have to physically turn. Yeah, I asked about that, and this is what I was told, is there stuff on the ground. And then, I mean, you could say the stone to mill is the stone eye, but the stone eye could also be the globe brightly. Okay. Hey, Corin, uh, hey, is there anything in that uh, scroll case? Or is it pretty empty? It's sealed. And we haven't touched anything. This is just what we could see. So actually, the leather sack would pink salt until we actually pick up and see what's in the leather sack, right? Unless it's spilled out. Unless it's lying. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Pink salt, though. Uh-oh. Thorin? Not Thorin. Yes. <laughs> Thorin Oakenshield. <laughs> Thongram, go ahead and roll me a... Uh, I was trying to stand at the edge. I hadn't got on it. I, I, can't, I can't half... There you go. There All you right. go. All right. I'll... I'll I'll let it slide. <laughs> I thought it, I thought it would snap me to a box, so I just was standing in the box. Yeah, it, it did snap you to it. All right. Hmm. Is so from what we can tell, is the rope that we've tied across sturdy? It, as far as you could tell, but the only the only check that you had managed to do on it was Corin's uh, rolling a two. Limp. His, his limp wristed little just eh. yeah. right. My trust was in the fact that I'm a lot lighter than he made it successfully until and then I broke it. So um, To be clear, you broke the board. Not the bridge, the board. And it, and the bridge did weaken a little bit. Right. But our rope seems sturdy. So far as we can tell. As far as we can tell. I'm going to attempt to grow across just the rope, just like head first, using my arms and looping my feet around it and slowly inching my way underneath the rope. Okay, so you're going to, you're employing the same tactic we used uh, many sessions ago then. 
Oy, I can need that reminder. Yes. All right. So give me, uh, I'll let you do either athletics or, um, oh God, whatever the other one is. Acrobatics. A acrobatics check on that one. All right, I'm going to say that you have made it about a third of the way, uh, but you're, you're slipping. So let's uh, roll that again. All right. Well, I'm going to say you have you have slipped off the rope. Uh, your your hands have given given way, and uh, I'm going to need you to roll me a dex save. All right. You have caught yourself on the bridge, uh, you, and you're you're you have not fallen into the water. You are you are holding on to onto the bridge, which seems to seems to be holding on to you. You're about, you're, I'm going to say you're a little over halfway at, based on where you are. Um, but you have managed to pull yourself off, off the, off the bridge with your, your quick reflexes there. I'm going to keep going. All right. And since the rope is there, you have advantage on all of those, and you have you have managed to make it across the bridge. I'm going to step further into the room and very closely inspect all these five inlets. Just to see if anything stands out about them, like look, like peephole looking at them. All right. So, uh, roll me a perception check. Okay, so you don't really, Sorry. outside of them being you know, cutouts, uh, you don't really see anything. Uh, terribly out of the ordinary i mean outside of it you know obviously being a a cutout in the wall oh anyone i mean three of us are over here now so we better solve this instead of trying to risk coming back later Essentially. So again, I still stand by Key and Skull, and then maybe the Shining Green Dragon scale for glowing brightly. Well, we have it's a it's weird. Eye glowing at random intervals, too. Yeah, the problem is there's six little phrases and only five holes. I guess it's, I guess it's, okay, I guess it's two must turn, brightly burning air all the fill and stone the mill. We look at I'm, I'm really tempted to see what's inside that scroll case if we break the seal. I'm wondering if the scroll case itself burns because of the wax. Yeah, I'm curious what's inside too. Oh, that's that, that's a great point. Want to crack it open? So are are we cracking it open or, or or not? I don't think we should look at that just yet. What? 
So, so what are we doing? And not being able to see facial expressions, I'm not really, not really sure where th where things are going on that side. So, what, what were we looking inside the the wax skull case, the sealed skull case? I pick up the scroll case. I look around the room and slowly start to peel the seal off and go, huh? 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 Uh, and right. I crack it open. All right. Well, <laughs> the wax falls off the, uh, the, 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 the scroll case, uh, revealing um, a very simple latch that will, um, that will open, open the case. Inside, you see a, a weathered-looking uh, scroll that has um, has the f uh, has a phrase written in it in blood. The uh, the phrase uh, scrawled out, I would apparently in in haste. Uh, it says, "Set the second hole on fire." I was wondering if that was a thing too, just burn things. Set the second hole on fire. That's weird because that makes it out of order of the phrasing. But okay. Um, I was just thinking about Taco Night. I, I will come down here, get my. Let's say I'll stand there, get a candle out, press the digitation, and I'll, you know light it with press the digitation, and then mage hand it over to the second hole. Okay. Trying to see if I can get some artwork for that. I don't I have a sim but hmm. a candle somewhere. And a we'll say that's a candle. And Corin, you should be able to move that candle. Okay. Um, All right. So the the candle has been placed in the second outlet. Um, it, nothing uh, has, apparently has happened at this point. Maybe it moves oh, second from the right. Uh, as we're looking around and, and, and stuff, we're not noticing any, like, I mean, again, looking for symbols of either we've recognized from Blue Eyed Billy stuff we've learned or any symbols of flame, the red flames or anything like that showing in this room you uh i, I you do would say over all of these maybe in the etching you would see that same symbol uh etched under the uh the awning N not awning but on you know where the uh what the hell is it called? The the, the phrase is etched into the yeah. Words no worky for me at the moment. I hear you. English is a difficult language. Thangram, I am paying attention to whatever you are doing while they are working out the puzzle. Well, this might be a good time to uh, detect magic. I am very glad that I paid attention to that. <laughs> I'm a little confused now because, like you said, if, if two's on fire, what is... Maybe it's the other way around? Maybe it starts on the left side? Go forward, two, you must turn. 
the alcoves are essentially barren. There's nothing in each one of them. Um, well, try moving it. I'm sure it's a combination of things we have to do. So we have to do multiple. All to fill a stone to mill. Well, I'm going to pick up the rusted key and just put it in the first alcove. Unless someone really objects to that idea. I don't. All right. So uh, when the key is placed inside of the alcove, uh, you, you do hear a, a slight chink uh, emanating from uh, in, inside the, the alco uh, alcove. Uh, outside of that, you don't notice anything else. Um, you don't notice anything abnormal, as normal as this could be. All right, well, ideas, guys. And yeah, I yell back all the items to Thonger and Siona so they can know what they are. So across the bridge there, while they're pondering the, the thing, what, what is uh, Thonger and Siona doing? Not watching him pee off the ledge. I mean, <laughs> aren't we all though? Yeah. Boy, why don't you tell me one of that glowing eye over there? Hmm. I don't think so, Tim. Um, I'm gonna pick up the orc skull, and I guess I'll just put it in the third alcove. I mean, All right. There's got to be another clue in there somewhere. I mean, this is. Yeah, it seems like we don't have enough information. Eldon. Yes. I have. I have whispered something to you. Yeah, that's a real good question. Do we, is there like a visual reference image of the red flames, you know, symbol that we should, we can use or should use? Well, we have the map, the symbol that was drawn on the map. Um, we have the symbol. But do we, we, the player, have. know what it looks like? Oh. What's that? Like, do we know what it looks like? I mean, I know we ha like our characters have it, but do we know what it looks like? Oh, do we have a visit like a example somewhere? Can Corin look at the symbol and roll an intelligence check and solve the, solve the riddle? Well, go ahead. Right, but we picked up the symbol from the the same time we picked up your sword, and what we're saying is we don't I can't solve the the puzzle using these items because I don't know what the symbol look what the symbol looks like. In you real seen, life. You would have, you so would my, have seen my, it. Oh, kept, I got what you're saying. Core knows, Will doesn't. Yes. Hang on, let's see. I can't use in character only knowledge. Let me see. <laughs> uh, so Elden Corn can cast spells too, but I can't. Yeah. Eldon, what, what the... is Thongrim doing? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. He's, about um, to, he's about to get shot, is what he's about to do. Um, so, Eldon, you were saying. Go. Right. We have, I mean, as far as the symbols, we've got, we've, we've seen the red symbols flame from, or the, sorry, the red flames symbol from the uh the outfit that is that sorry back from Ecleros, right so we have yes. that we have the one we picked up from um 
from in which looked a little different from in the um the tomb and then we have what's been drawn on the um on the map right and, and we'll say that that symbol looks you know it's not an so, exact replica but it looks somewhat suspiciously like the uh the emblem that you picked up back in iron back in the tomb okay and then the ones that were the, the emblems that we're noticing in this room are they map the the emblem that we're carrying from the tomb. Say that again. I'm sorry. Are the, the symbol, the symbols we're seeing in this room of the, the you know, and kind of what we were seeing in the, you know, over the door the tavern, were all of those the same symbol? I would say yes and yes to Sion's whisper too. I totally have it on my breastplate, guys. <laughs> I totally forgot that it was there. <laughs> if you could describe that to me. I have no idea what it looks like, though. Uh, I think it's flamey, right? <laughs> flamey right. And, and red in, red in nature. <laughs> uh, code, G, code DM, we, we have never actually really thought about that or confirmed or finalized what it looked like. So this might be a great time. <laughs> we had a picture at one point, didn't we? Yes. Oh, I just had the Bane. We had the Bane image. But I don't remember one for the Red Flame. While we're doing this, I'm going to take Thongram's little advice. I'm going to take that glowing eye and chuck it across the thing to him. Or actually, I'm going to ma mage hand it slowly Ooh. across to him. <laughs> okay. Why do we want to... I like it. Um, I'm going to gently mage hand it across the river and set it on the ground. I like if, we it. Need it, we'll, if, if I need it, I'll get it back. Well, if Tongram gets his hands on it, you might not get it. Okay, if, if I need it, I'll have Sion go get it off Thongram's corpse. <laughs> so, Thongram, uh, I, want, I want you to, because I, I saw that you were up there tempting death against the, tempting fate against the octopus statue, uh, you got close enough to it. Can you roll me a perception? Wait, what? There's other stuff been happening towards the north of the map. <clears throat> yes, you you did ha up there. You you did happen to notice that one of the uh, one of the octopus eye sockets were were missing. It's not where the green gem was. That was a little bit lower in the in the statue. But there was something there. Does the stone eye I'm, I just gave put across the bridge look like the one that's over there? Uh, yes, yes, it does. Oddly and enough, then, uh, then, then I may hand it across to him. If you'd like, I'll try to put that in the statue when I come back across. But if otherwise, you can have fun putting it in yourself. For what it's worth, the uh, the octopus statue appears to be dimming softly at the moment, and I will have to remember the cyclopstopus later. So, knowing what we know about the red flame symbol, does it does that make any sense for this puzzle? Does it help us in any way? Yes. Now I take the appropriate items, put them in the appropriate spots, as my character would know. Uh, there, um, yes. Okay, I'm, okay, I do this. I, I pull out my red flames tunic. And I, I carefully inspect the, you know, the intricate, very well-known, like McDonald's branded symbol. Like you know, this the red flame symbol. And I compare that individually to each one of the items that we see on the floor. And I'd like to know which of those items I see a connection to in the Red Flames. Or maybe a part of the symbol of the Red Flame symbol. Right. And I would also 
symbol because we keep seeing the then I would be also we have the symbol I pulled from that's also on her breastplate that's that we pulled from the um the tomb and so we have that to compare as well. Okay, so the symbols that you've seen on the walls, they do look suspiciously like the emblem that uh, El Eldon has in his pack and or in his hands, because I'm not sure if he's ever said he's pulled it out or not. Um, it does match the symbol that looks that it is emblazoned on Siona's breastplate. Thongrim is wondering innocently if octopuses have two eyes, and he thinks... He's positive in his nature that he remembers Octopus as having at least two eyes, maybe more, but at least two. Because he's... Would I have ever seen an octopus? I, I mean, I would have heard, I would have thought that um, him living on, the, on a coastal town in, in this land, he's probably at least seen a picture of one, if not seen one up, up, uh, up close and personal at the fishmonger. So looking back at what we've got here, um, we have a scroll that says, set the second one on this, uh, what did it say? Uh, uh, how, how exactly was set that the word? Set the second alcove on fire. Uh, set the second one on, fi on, on fire, and the, the candle did not apparently do anything. Oh, can I wave the candle around until it actually, t the flame touches everything? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can absolutely do that. But if we're without, uh, you know, risking metagaming and everything, we're dealing with something here that appears to be a secret red flames thing. Um, perhaps there's something to it all. Maybe the maybe the emblem is part of this. So, at, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, I, I look at the emblem and compare it very slowly and vigorously to the items in the room. Do, do I notice any particular one or more of these items stand out as part of this symbol? No. The, none of the items in that match that symbol. I'm sorry, okay. I heard you say that, and I totally blew past it. No problem. Okay, so, so the items themselves don't stand out to me personally as part of the red flame symbol directly. No. Right, but in the etchings on the wall, red flame symbols that match. Yes. Cool. Um, where uh, are they with? You know, within the letters or around the letters or beginning. I would say they are. That it's in, in, in above where the the words are etched in there. You see the symbol. But you guys have had a. Uh, in the wax thing, you have a, a symbol. You have a scroll that has something etched in it. It looked like it was a, um, you know, obviously somebody, you know, had this secret in it. All right. Well, what if I burn the scroll in the alcove? You think that would work? I, I don't think. I think that should be the last. Brian, apparently something happened when we got the right play. If we or in the key when we put the key in the first alcove. I mean, if we burn something now, we can't burn it again later. So it's got to be the last thing we do. So there's five alcoves we need to put things in. All right. Well, how about we just we just brute force this and we take the orc skull and put it in the next alcove. And if it doesn't work there, we'll put it in the next one. Hey, Thongrum, go put the eye in the octopus thingy. I'll be more specific. In the eye socket. That is, if no one has any, yeah. other, any ideas, I say we just start trying things at random. Yes. So, Ash, are you, are you still with us here? Yep. Do me a favor. Go go to the DM channel, please. Ogerly, dogerly. Hello. Can I just tell them? 
<laughs> it's up to you. I, I, for, I forget exactly what this... I mean, I know we have the symbol. It's an emblem, I forget right? exactly. It's like a key, right? Well, it's yeah, it's it's like the symbol with a couple holes cut out of it. I think of it sort of as like the skull on the key in the Goonies, right? Right, but like I, it was the nor it was a key, and then it fit weirdly into a space, right? Right. So that was the original goal, and then I couldn't come up with a map. So if I told you, if you read that scroll that said, "Set the second one on fire," okay, so the candle didn't work, but you have something that may look like a fire, that this red flame symbol should look like that, right? And, I mean, this is total metagaming at this point. But my thought was, set the second one on fire. If a candle doesn't work, but you set the emblem in the thing, it should work. Because that would be the key. You have to have the emblem in order to succeed. Um, I, yeah, let me let me try to whisper somebody and see if, if that works. I mean, I feel, I, just correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like I've given all the information I need. Or uh, I, I think it is. I think it's because I can't see it makes it a little different okay i'll see um, if i can let me it. let me whisper let me whisper rise real quick and see if that gets it going okay puzzle we have and if we Back, have sorry. all of it, actually at this point i am thinking you know is there something up beyond the gate that would have more to this puzzle yeah um are we ready to solve this puzzle at this point in time and, and, and whether or not we have all the pieces we need. Well, I don't think we have all the pieces we need because we don't know what we're doing anymore. Hey, Thonger, mini light bulbs? Just gonna shout that across this rushing river. I will allow it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just shouting at him. I guess I could use the message spell to relay it as well. Oh, Lady Siona and all are trying to figure out if we're going to go jam this here thing into the little octopus. Give it a go, buddy. Oh. I believe in you. She seems rather resistant to getting shot with these laser beams. Magic uh, beams that are definitely not lasers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how many eyes an octopus has, but you know what lasers are. <laughs> Thongram has a vivid imagination. He has been dreaming things. <laughs> He's only got one eye. It's kind of lazy. So it's a lazier beam. <laughs> Corm contemplates oh, jumping off geez. to the river. Yeah, I wonder where that river would take us if we just jumped in. To the long ride. <laughs> Is it a shortcut into the final room? Because it'll have water in it too. All right, we gotta do something here. We're uh, right. you guys go do that, and then we'll. Well, is the red flame something literal? Like we set the second hole on fire. Uh, the second scroll, the the, the red flames. There's something to do with fire or flame. Could be worth a shot. Hey, Siona, do you want to run in with your shield, or should I just run in and get zappity zapped? I'll run in with my shield. You can follow behind. Let you hold their skeleton in front of you. <laughs> hold their bones. I can I have my shield in one hand and pick up a skeleton shield for the other hand, and just two shield it. <laughs> oh, wait, I could try this. If I what if I pick up a skull and just throw it, kind of past the thing? Would it have it have to see if it zaps the? Try it. Wait, hold on, I just got an idea. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so Thongram snaps the head off the skeleton and throws it towards the cycloptopus. And as as the skull head moves in, the uh, the statue does indeed uh, sh shoot it out of the sky, out of the air. And, uh, and the light of the gem has faded out. It is dark. Okay, I, I want to scooch all of the skeletons into a pile, and then I just want to throw a bone every 10 seconds. 
Like, I'm just going to count to ten, and I'm going to throw a bone. So even if that light comes back on, it should hit the bone. I love it. That is a great idea. All right. Go for it, Zongram. All right. So... I don't know how to deal with times, so I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> so the light has, as Thongram ran back and got the eye, the light glowed a little bit, but as, as luck would have it, Siona threw a bone and it shot it out of the air. Thongram is at the statue, yelling at himself, apparently. Where is it going now? He's getting the eye. <laughs> he forgot it? Yes. I think he's going to try to put a skull. He's so mad I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still throwing the bones. Like, that is just saying, like, God bless. This is why we can't have nice things. Where'd we all go? Oh. We're back. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Is Thongram tall enough to reach? We're going to say yes, he is. Wash body, quickly. All right, so you Thongram successfully and jams and the uh, eye into the empty socket, and you, you and Corin from his uh, from his area, here's a chink. Where, where did this chink come from? It seems... Racist. I am! It, it came from the, the same chinking sound that the key made. Uh, kind of just a in-the-room chinky chink type sound. All right, well... You know what? I'm just going to pick up that shining green dragon scale and put it in the third alcove. Okay, but the orc skull I thought was already in that alcove. Then I'm going to put it in the fourth alcove. Or actually, I'm take the orc skull out because it didn't apparently didn't work, and put the green dragon scale in. That is a much better plan, and you also hear that chink. All right, put the orc skull in the fourth alcove. And nothing happens. All right, uh, in order to short circuit this, I'm going to take every item and put it in every alcove until the sound gets made or I'm out of items. Okay, so you have magically done that, and then the, the f fourth and fifth items have chinked, and you are still waiting on one thing to happen. You uh, are there. I will, I will just be honest with you. You guys have everything you need to know at this point, and I am waiting for one thing to happen that has not yet happened, but you have everything you need to know. Oh, the items go in the hole. Then we set it on fire. Yeah, which, I, which items come. are... Which items are... Like, what items went in the, in the fifth hole and the fourth hole? The bag of salt went in the fifth hole, and the the bronze plate went in the fourth hole. Okay, so what's the state of things? What we put the key in one. What they did we have put four ch chinks. Yes, yes. The, <laughs> so hole number one has the key. Hole number two currently has a candle in it. Hole number three has the green sc uh, scale. Hole number four has the bronze plate. Hole number five has the bag of salt. And the eyeball has been placed back in the Cycloptopus thing. And Thongram is dancing. Did the Cycloptopus thing stop zapping when he put the eyeball back in it? We will say that the you guys have noticed that the, uh, the, the, the gem has not recharged itself no, uh, noticeably while, since it has been done. It had been recharging uh, every 10 seconds or so. I, I still say we burned the scroll. He's been carrying. I'm with you, Corn. I think I think items need to be in that 
and then we burn the scroll, which goes in the second hole. Well, no, no, the flames must burn could be let's burn the insignia of the, of the red flames. Or just put the, put the red flame and so, in there first. Well, the, 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 the candle that we put in there isn't an item we found here. Or right, so, so I'm going to take, take that back out and put it out. All right, so... Like I said, I'm going to put the symbol of the red flames in the house. Yeah, so let's, let's, if someone's got one of those, put that in there. If that fails, we'll burn everything. <laughs> burn it to the ground! Yeah, I tore off from one of the, the bandits who tried to Shanghai us back in the woods, the chief of the guard or whatever. Oh, no, no, not him. No, no, no. Oh, I've got a symbol that I, I tore off previously. It's just a piece of embroidery um, of the red flames. I have the symbol from the uh, the tomb, though, so that I yeah. have out. Yeah, let's use that. <gasps> Sounds like a grand plan. So... So here you go. Here's a symbol, um, and I will make it to uh, I will make it to where where on. since I, I can't since I can't find Eldon's character in the thing, everybody can control that little fire symbol. What? I don't have mage hand. Well, I'm saying that it, your character can... Well, it's it's in the second alcove now. Yeah. All right. So, you hear the chink, and... Hold on. Yay! A rumbling occurs, and on the eastern wall, a portal, a, a stone door... Uh, opens up and slides out of the way, revealing a passage to the right. Which I will reveal to you now. Hey, Shiona and Bangram might want to come across the bridge. Well, how far, how big is the alcove? I mean, it could just be like a three-room, you know, a closet. No. It is a, it's not it, a closet. It's not a closet. Was... You know, naturally, the Red Flames, being the good organization they are, has a giant clawed hand of the fountain. That's the hand of Bane, isn't it? That would be which one? one? It's a trap. The fountain. I'm just saying, it looks like a skeletal hand grab, clusting, you know, clutching the fountain. Ah. It's, it is a it is a fountain. Hold on, I'll bring my notes back up. Um, so first off, Thongren and Siona, y'all are hanging out over there. What 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 are y'all wanting to do? I shout to them that the door is open. We might want to all explore together. There's something over here. You should all. See. We can't even see all the way into this. You can now. <laughs> oh, Lady Siona, do we think we should go across? I mean, I guess. I still, I still say we just tie the rope around them and have them just do a running jump and then pull them the rest of the way. All right, if the rope goes across it twice, so we leave one tied and one tie around. You know, if they fall in, they're at least t tethered. Well, um, I don't know how strong those wooden posts are. But yeah, that I give the rope a really good yank to test the strength of it. Roll me a strength check. You you tug at it with all your might, and it. It stays stays put. Okay, I'm going to hold on to the rope very tightly and make my way as quickly as I can across the bridge. And I'm going to be by the other end. If she gets close and has trouble, I'm going to try to help. All right. Uh, so if you were just walking, you were moving across it like normal? 
Holding onto the rope with both hands. Yeah. All right. Deck save, please. Oh, wait. Sorry. Not deck save. That's I'm if not deck save. No, 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 no. That was a save. That You needed to roll a dexterity, dexterity not a deck save. You mean athletics acrobatics? Yes. Okay, good. All right, move on. Dexterity save as if you failed the dexterity check. Is anything moving in this room that we no, see? Nothing is, nothing is moving as of right now. Um, all right. Uh, we're, I'm going to say that's good enough on that one. One, one more time. That, however, is not. So the board's uh, cracked. That's where uh, I broke the board. Well, you, she has success. This is really weak, man. <laughs> she has broken another board, and the bridge has gotten noticeably weaker, and I need you to roll a dexterity save. And I'm With advantage. To help. Why not strength? I'm holding on to the rope. Yeah, let's say strength. Why not? I like it. With advantage, because you've got help. From a guy who has That's no good. Sense. Yeah, well, hey, every With little bit advantage. of... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you've made it across. So now we have Thongram to contend with. Can Thongram be lifted by a mage hand? No. Dang. Wait a minute. How much can a mage hand lift? Ten pounds. About ten pounds. Okay, never mind. It's like I push him off balance, but I can't actually keep him from falling. Right. I was wondering if Elden was light enough. <laughs> can you also... Mage also, it, it can't lift creatures, it only lifts objects. <laughs> What's the floating disc thing? What's that? Tensor's floating disc? Yeah. When they didn't, assuming they didn't take the name Tensor off, or whatever it was. Thongrim, what are you up to? <laughs> oh, All right. Well, I was looking something else up, but we'll go with this. All Did right. he just set up like a zip line and, and wait? Which end? Which edge is higher? <laughs> we should set up a zip line. Well, it looks like it's uh, it's level, but what I want to say, um, what's your strength score there? Uh, uh, 18. Four. 18. Means you can jump 18 feet. Uh-huh. So, just because, you know, I, you know, I, I can help you uh, with something interesting instead of doing something uh, boring, you could run and then leap from the second one and see if you make it. With a strength. Oakley dokely So we'll, we're going to say you need to roll, yeah, we'll, we'll call that your jump. Let's roll that dexterity dexterity check on that first, the first step. And since you have, yeah, we're going to say you, you cleared it. You jumped. Yay. Everybody's across the bridge. <laughs> And we'll, we'll say it from Christian Slater's way uh, from uh, the Robin Hood movie and say, F me, he cleared it. Ah, yes. <laughs> only we had a catapult rolling at any given time. Just do that. All right, so run, walking into that room as Siona has done... Uh, in the center of this room is a uh, glowing reflection pool. On the wall to the south, another tapestry depicting a person in glorious battle. Uh, to the north, you see uh, three, three uh, portals or holes in the wall. Um, uh, that are that go down into the darkness. 
Uh, the light reflecting from the pool is enough to uh, to light the room where just about everybody can see things dimly. Thongram is, you know, underwhelmed with his lack of surprise, uh, applause. I'm going to cautiously approach the what I think is a pool of water in front of me. Okay. I just look, if I can, just kind of p poke my head over the top and, and look down into the water just to see if it looks like drinking water, or if it looks like it's some, has, has some kind of magical properties, or if it's bubbling or active. Okay, so looking in the... Uh... <clears throat> Uh, looking in the pool, you see your reflection uh, just in the lightly, uh, the gentle water. It's fairly still. I mean, it's just, you know, seems to be circulating on its own accord. Uh, you're looking down into the, 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 the depths of the water, uh, it just seems like it's a, a reflecting pool. Uh, Angram picks up the symbol of the red flames. Uh, never actually. So as as uh, Thongram picks up the uh, the symbol uh, from the alcove, uh, everything seems to be in order. Um, the door remains open. Uh, Pierce the Pierce the puzzle has been solved for now. So you want to tell us a little bit about what you're seeing there, Thongram? I mean, I'm just looking at the the symbol. Like, I kind of, from where we are, that you know, any object of the red flames is basically a death sentence. So, seeing basically generations of family history and what his grandfather kind of fought under, you know, rumored, kind of in his palm of his hand, is like kind of an intense moment that he's kind of having by himself. All right. Good. So we're going to say that you've picked it up. I'm going to take it off the screen because it is now in your possession. All right. So you are now in the room. Uh, you have this reflecting pool in the middle and there's the tapestry on the, the wall uh, below you and uh, the, the mural uh, on this tapestry and it depicts two boats sailing on the sea. Uh, one boat has uh, what appears to be elven characters uh, with one of them holding some glowing object in the air. Um, it looks like it's uh, on fire, um, maybe resembling the... Uh, Uh, it, you know, it's kind of undecipherable what this, what the form is, but it looks like it's, you know, a, an important object. Uh, the other boat appears to be heading towards a darkened area, a cave or something. Um, other than that, it, 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 you know, looks like it's depicting uh, things from the Red Flames history. think this glowy flamey orb things that we're going to find down here say that again um i was talking to the group i, I couldn't hear you i was saying i wonder if, i was going to ask if that glowy orb flame thing is what we think we're going to find but it sounds like that's what they had when they fled this place so never mind you said that there were known people Okay, so I, I didn't say it was an orb, by the way. I just said it was an undecipherable object. So don't 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 think orb. Just we know. Uh, well, Corrin, just, yeah. it's dark in here. Corrin's <laughs> not that's a dark vision. No, that's that's fine. I just want to make sure that would you know no misinformation. Um, and what was the uh, thing, Eldon, about a gnome? 
What? I don't. I didn't hear anything about a gnome. It, you said that the were the, the, the they were they were a gnome people or drawing. I, I didn't quite catch that first part. Uh, no, uh, the depicting elven elven characters. Oh, elven. Got it. Not Elden's character. <laughs> Yes, Elden, you you are surprised to see your face on the wall when you <laughs> uh, you have all of a sudden been become very important to the to the plot. <laughs> well, you know, all gnomes look alike. Yeah. So I'm going to take a look at these three little alcoves to the north and just get a little closer inspection, see if. Do they do they all look different from one another? Is there any distinguishable features about them? They both appear to be uh, tunnels leading uh, leading down into the depths, kind of slide like, if you would. There is no real distinguishing factor that you can tell by looking between the three of them, except that they all three seem to have separate tunnels. How do they smell? Well. Why don't you roll me a perception check? You, um, they, they smell damp and dusky, uh, dusty. Um, uh, just, it, it doesn't necessarily feel like there's a ton of wind or air movement in there. Uh, it's a, you, don't, you don't necessarily smell salt water or anything. It's just it smells like old cave. That that heads kind of off towards where that river was going. Kind of. Okay. So, is there a stone lying in the room anywhere? I have some ball bearings. Oh, well, do you want to, I mean, if you throw something down, it's probably going to be gone and may not be retrievable. So I was thinking if there's a loose stone to toss down. I'll throw two or three ball bearings down the center column and just put my ear to the, to the slide and maybe listen for something. All right. So as the uh, the ball bearings roll down, you you hear them kind of tink 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 down down. Uh, uh, you can't really hear how far they go, but it doesn't. You know they they do stop. You do hear them kind of roll a little bit. I would assume you could hear something like that. How big are these ball bearings? There's thousand of them to a sack. Uh, so maybe you don't hear I it. Don't know. There are two pounds. I'm not sure. It doesn't want to say how many are in the bag. Yeah. So you hear it, and then you not hear it. Did, did that, you know, did anyone make any... Did that stir up any kind of noise after you, it? You didn't hear any moaning or anything. No. All right. Um, was there anything in the fountain? It was. It is just a reflecting pool, from what you can tell right now. Uh, this entire room does appear to be a, uh, you know, based on the mural and everything. It does appear to be a, a marker from the from the good night uh, from the red flames. Uh, so, given that you had to get into this, you, know, you had to have this puzzle solved with the key. That that all does seem very important uh, to this. I'll uh, go to that mural and examine it more closely and then like can i get behind it is there anything sticking out from it you know uh there's no, nothing really sticking behind it or anything um give me a second you know secret buttons anything uh, that would be suspicious yeah hey ash i, I need a, a, a dm chat real quick Oh, you know, one moment. Sorry, folks. It's all good. Hello? Hey. I mean, 
I'll tell you, I mean, it's, they all lead somewhere to the next area. It really doesn't matter which way they go. It's just one of them is a little closer to the end game if they go through the, if they touch the pool with the, the symbol. I don't know how to evoke or how to say that without just saying it, because it was just what I had in my mind, but nothing really would lead the party to think that. So do you have any ideas? Uh, I think we're walking through the tunnels. <laughs> okay. Then I mean, uh, short of, of, you know, when I walk up, I look at or something, you know, a reflection from the mural that, you know, is missing something in yeah. the reflection pool. But short of that, you're not, you're never going to get anyone who's just like, I'm just going to randomly stick items in the pool. I uh, know. I just, I didn't think about that. So maybe we can just have him just dive into the, you know, just go down the slides because they are slidey in nature. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, uh, wait, that's, what, that's what I would do. All right. And then then we'll just go from there. And I'll abandon right. that, th that thread. Yeah, I would. Okay. Otherwise. All Let's right. do that. Yep, you light them well, up and you detect magic. We can also go back get that rope and then instead of sliding down the chutes, we can slowly explore down the chute. Shimmy down, maybe. Or come uh, back up if it's, it's like, oh, there's a dinosaur down here. Yeah. yeah this, our DM's back, though, so we should, he was going to say. Well, no, I was, uh, I, I am. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just here. I want to know well, what I mean, y'all are going to do. Well, I guess you, you left when I asked about the meal, so I didn't. Uh, I didn't yes, nothing. yes. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, you don't, you don't see anything uh, from the mural outside. Uh, outside of it being a tapestry of some form um, but there you know just by looking at it touching it tasting it feeling it and caressing it there's nothing that comes to mind out of that okay. and, and so we're not seeing like wording like we've seen previously or anything else in the room walls ceilings yeah. floors um, symbols other than the tapestry no no symbols over each of the garbage chutes or whatever chutes. <laughs> the garbage chute. Uh, no, there, there was... As there, soon as I saw it, all I saw was into the garbage chute, my boy. Um, well, before Thongrim, you know, slipping the slides down one of those chutes, I'm going to go back out there and get my rope back. Okay. Okay. So... Um, we'll say that happens without, without event. Without event. Oh, okay. So we've got this ritual to cast if people are interested in me casting a detect magic ritual. On okay. Getting, I mean, is that by, you know, the party in, you know, interested in sitting patiently on room for 10 minutes? I am. I'm fine with that. All right. Is there anything more to these murals, I guess, um, that, that any particular part of the story that might, it might be telling? Um, so from a history, yes, a history pers uh, perspective, uh, it's alluding to the, um, we, we've talked about this in the past, how the, uh, uh, it appears that the, the Red Flames was a faction that uh, um, was trying to prevent the Church of Bane from doing whatever they were doing. Um, and so they have, uh, and I'm realizing, I don't know if we've had this discussion as players or if it's just been me and Ash. Or if it's bit so, I'm just I'm just going to go with it. And Ash can stop me, you know, when I get off the rails here. So, um, this particular thing depicts. Uh, it looks like the two ships were the red flames escaping from from this land, um, and it appears that one of the ships was uh, successful uh, in in leaving, uh, as the uh, the elvish uh, occupants of the boat were you know, 
uh, were seen flee, uh, you know, sailing off towards the uh, towards the was the horizon, uh, while the other ship uh, looks like it was going going towards the darkened cave, towards the darkened area. Looks like it it was the symbol symb symbology of that ship is it's trying to sacrifice itself to give the other boat a chance of escape. Uh, as the elven characters are holding up this this object, uh, whatever it may be, uh, it's you know glow and it has this halo behind it, so it's obviously an important object. So it was important for them to flee this land and go towards wherever they wherever they are heading. Um, so Ash uh, does uh, you know speaking as the DM from the other other sections of the game. What else would that say? for the backstory. I think that would I think that would summarize a lot of it. I mean that at least from the mural's perspective tells that bit of a story that you know that the people weren't as familiar about probably some of them may have known I mean you'd have to history check I guess against what you knew in the uh it's initiates to the order, but it's likely you might not have known much about the origins or beyond how, where they came from, because that probably wouldn't have been something that they freely told everyone. Oh, there, there's this other church, and we're in hiding. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure that Quinn would have noticed that. Not that Quinn's in the party, but I don't think he had made it into the order yet. Just that he was on his way towards it. And corn was nowhere near getting in. So, so Before Thongram, I, I asked Thongram, so this this land that they fled to with the this glowing beacon symbol that that's somehow important. It, it that that is the land that we know is Eclaros now. Is that right? Uh, are you are you telling me that that you were on this boat that left? Well, no, not 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 me. But there's some history here. I assume that they had to flee this land and go somewhere. And you know, there's a lot of elves where we're from. I just I assume that Eclaros is where they ended up. It seems to me that one boat worth of elves isn't going to make a civilization. That's true too. But this, you know, this event uh, has been going on for longer than just one generation. So, based on where this tomb is and the fact that it's, you know hidden behind these walls and all this, this tapestry could be many, many generations old uh, telling telling this story. Well, can so, anybody here draw? I cannot. In character, gain characters draw. Elden sketches. Could you maybe be useful to sketch these things so we, so we can look at them later? I think I left all my drawing material in the uh, chest behind the water. I've got a pen and some ink, but I have nothing to actually draw on. Oh, yeah, we, we've got paper, but damn, we don't have it with us. Let me, let me check. I'm going to rummage through the backpack real quick. I, I can't believe you guys were, were part of the boat. That's... That's, we were oh part my, of the boat. Uh, your your people, the, the 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 sword you're carrying, the armor, Lady Iron Song, she was part of the boat that that didn't make it. Uh, so so my family's told that that's I can't believe this. If she was part of the boat that didn't make it. That means she didn't get very far if she got back here. And was buried in that. I, I grabbed the book labeled aptly to the harbor, and hopefully there's some blank pages in there or a, a back page that Eldon can scribble on and give to Eldon and be like, maybe you can doodle on this. After you're done detecting magic. Someone, someone must have uh, that spell that can dry that book. Press the digitation. Is that the one? Gotcha. Yeah. But yeah, I'm in. I'm in the middle of. of, of 
magic, right? So, yeah, he's he's in the middle of doing his uh, ritual. We can let we can let Siona do it. Okay. Doodle to me. All right. So the boat, the boat that got left behind, the Red Cliffs. Many of the people that were were there were were ones that were driven to the sea as the as the church finally descended. Uh, from from what I can remember, Lady Siona was part of that smaller group that, you know, right. was going to uh, form some sort of a resistance. Though I don't know how everything played out after that. This is, I can't believe the tales, I always thought some of this couldn't have been true. You said Lady Siona, surely, Thumbrum, you meant Lady Fiona, much, much older, a long time ago. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got the last name right now, looking at the character. My bad. Hey, it's all good. You're just, uh, Thongram's overwhelmed with the stuff that, you know, the history apparently becoming true or having, you know, some, uh, you know, what's, what's the word? It's confirmation that, you know, maybe it wasn't all legend. All right. So Siona has, has doodled a somewhat decent, uh, what, is there a... Do you, uh, you know, we're just going to say she's doodled something that looks like it's an app, you know, accurate representation of the, the stuff. Uh, so, we're almost to the end of his ritual. Uh, any other discussion going on? Uh, I don't know what Fiona is. I've never heard that name. I haven't heard Fiona. I, I thought it was Fiona. Oh, I, I, I just made sure I was, I was jotting it right in my notes before. Yeah, I, I think it's Fiona. Uh, I have the original. Let me see. Alright, so is anything right. in the room magic? Uh, y yes. As the... Uh... Damn it, Thongram. <laughs> um, so at, at the end of the ritual... Uh, the only thing that really that comes up as glowing magical uh, would be the pool in the middle of the room um, that uh, it glows with a a yellow uh, aura so it is it is definitely magical and I'm going to give Thongram an opportunity to confirm whether or not he did what he emoted. I mean, yeah, I guess so. No guts, no glory. I think I was absentmindedly doing it, probably. Right. Okay. So, um, as... Yeah. Wait a second. Yes, wait. Okay, so... As he's absentmindedly taking a sip from this this water, uh, the the you still have the symbol, right? The the emblem. Uh, yeah, it's in my my man bag or whatever. All right. So as you take a as you take a sip from the water, you, you see this gl glowing uh, light emit from your Italian man bag, um, and it. All of a sudden, the water uh, roils uh, from <laughs> uh, roils and starts spinning uh, magically faster and faster. It's uh, Thongram. Pool is magic. <clears throat> and so, yes, the pool is magic, and he has he has touched it. And what happens is, as the water uh, spins it turns into this little whirlpool as the bottom falls out of the out of the uh, the pool uh, revealing a, a ladder down into the depths it you can almost imagine hearing this Zelda like do 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 sound as this secret passage has opened up 
Where, where did it open up at? Uh, oh, I see it. Yeah. The pool? Yeah, it opened up into the pool. I'm, I'm a slow learner, so I take two or three more ball bearings and throw them into the pool. Well, there is no water. It's now a hole into a ladder area. Like I said, I'm a slow learner. All right, so ball bearings fall down, and you hear, you hear them drop, you know, say 15, 20 feet below. Tap, 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 tap. So you can hear them as they, as they drop down. I start climbing down the ladder. All right. Hold on. That's a completely 100% accurate description. Yep. And I will say this was done completely accidental on Thongram's part. He had no idea what that was going to happen, and I did not foresee it happening that way. So there you go. I dare say your dump stat matches your RP. Well, now, remember, six to seven is often fails to exert common sense. And I think four to five is more apt, seemingly incapable of forethought. Right in that razor's edge! Give me oh, I thought you finished your ritual. I thought that's how we knew the pool was magic. It all happened pretty much at the same time. Oh. I took a sip and he said, hey, you're drinking magic water. And I went, <laughs> And then a pool, and then his his man bag lit while the pool drained itself. How far down is it? About, say, 20 feet. Fiona, there to lead the way. She I'm did. I'm already on the line. She did. I'm, I'm, I'm doing something. Sorry, give me give me a minute. He's trying to see how strong the ladder is. No, I'm trying. Oh. I didn't know where y'all were going. How many so. broken rungs? All right. We got two bio breaks. Give it a second. Okay. Can you confirm though that you see the map? Uh, we're in frozen Iceland. Uh, think about it more like granite rock, and it's just kind of a grayscale background. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> yes, I see your page. Yeah. Yeah. Got smooth marble flooring. <sighs> All right. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thongram jumps in the hole, lands superhero pose, but still ends up taking one damage from the fall. So wait, while we were doing the um, the ritual, that would have been a short rest. No, it's only no. Ten. Oh, okay. How long is a short rest? A couple hours. Yeah. So in game time, we have probably gone since you guys woke up that morning. You've probably gone five or six hours. Um, so as long as I don't break concentration, I can still be detecting magic in my vicinity? Uh, yes. Uh, at this point, you do not detect anything magical in, in nature in your, in, from what you can see from here. Um, this uh, is a... The dungeon walls appear to be made from uh, natural stone. It's a smooth stone floor. Uh, you can uh, you feel that it's um, the temperature inside of this this cavern is significantly warmer uh, than it's been anywhere else at this point. Um, it's it is definitely shadowy, uh, but there is a phosphorescent fungus uh, uh, every twenty feet or so that you know kind of gives you a a dim view of what's around you. Um, in the particular uh, area, it's it's. Uh, from what you can see, it's fairly empty, um, though you do hear, uh, not don't hear, but you smell a, an odor, a strange briny odor 
to the to the to the room. I, I like that plan. The only other thing that you notice in this particular room is on the, at the base of the ladder, there's all the water that has fleshed out, has just kind of splashed onto the floor, uh, which did make a sound, but you don't necessarily hear anything responding to it at this point. Uh, so yeah, this is a good place to call it. So we will say, we'll see you next time. Same bat time, same bat channel. Mm -hmm.